beautiful day out here. We're getting ready for another off-road trip out to Hatcher's Pass, Alaska. This is called the Craigie Creek Trail. We're gonna be tackling the Craigie Creek Trail. We've got a variety of rigs from Toyotas, Jeeps, Fours, a little bit of everything. Sweet. Mm, these are the suspicions I need right here. Come on, enjoy the video. Day out here at Hatcher Pad, you can see the beautiful snow here almost reaching us right now. I love this time of the year, man. Beautiful fall colors. It was kind of foggy, and now we're at the uh, more of the lower elevation waiting to regroup. Uh, a lot of people got scattered apart, but no worries, no way, uh, no way to get lost out here. It's a one way in, one way out. Well, actually, we came from the Palmer site, and then if you were to take this road. It exit out towards Willow, and you can go back that out uh, that way. Thing for everybody right here. This is the trailhead for the Craig G Creek. Everyone is just airing down right now. I went down to about 10 or no 18 or 20 psi. Nothing too crazy. Beautiful scenery out here, man. This is more of a scenic trail, not to come out here and just um, go crazy. Not like Escafall or anything like that. Got the rest of the convoys way down there, about six rigs, and then we have about two, three rigs up ahead already. Thanks, man. Tacoma is doing pretty good on this trail. No uh, issues so far. We're riding in four low. 20 PSI, waiting for the rest of the guys to come up.
Nicely done. Thanks, man. and we'll gotta put that on the grill we still got three convoys behind us they're uh, taking a little bit longer they wanted to check out some of their uh, vehicles hit some rocks or something right now we got two four six we got seven rigs going up and also the two ATV they're a bit much faster <clears throat> Right now we're in first gear, four low, uh, just slowly crawling. No need to go fast. The faster you go, the more stuff you start to break. Potential for breakage. You guys can see on the top right there, that's where the trail is. All the way up on the right hand, going up that little, going up this little mountain here. We go up and then we drop back down. Everyone's doing great so far. Definitely love having my welded rear. Makes a big difference out here. Uh, the Jeep in front of me right here, the Wrangler, he's on open differential, running a KO2, the FG KO2, so he's doing really good as well. <coughs> he's been choosing the right lines, and uh, that's what makes the difference out here. Make sure you choose your right line. impressed with Robert's rig here. Made it. <laughs> Let's see. I'll think about it. Thank you. 
Try to go. Hold on. Uh, here you are. There you are. I was gonna put a rock under it. Go spot him. <coughs> He's hung up on the bottom. Oh shit. He might need to stack some rocks or something. This is the first time seeing a trail hawk in the wilderness here. <laughs> Don't you got lockers on yours? I have a rear locker. Yeah, that's that's good enough. That's all you need really. That's good. That forerunner would have uh, that blue forerunner would have got some clearance issue. Get a little bump. You're just caught up on that front driver. Front driver? Yeah, I just. Damn. Oh, Keep coming. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. <clears throat> just so you guys know just so you guys know this Wrangler is on open differential and this is the difference between having rear locker and having a 4x4 on open diff this is why locker is so important when it comes to these technical trails right here Technical obstacles. <coughs> good job, good job. Hold it there. Let me move out. Take it our time, white, white jeep. Uh oh, go back, go back just a little bit. <coughs> you wanna, you wanna keep that tire right here, all right? Front? Yeah, keep try to come right here. Perfect, perfect. Oh, it's in the snow. Come this way, come this way, perfect. Go back a little bit. And then give it a little give it a little gas. Right there. Turn this way. Yep. There we go. Keep going this way. Yep, yep. Man, it's snowing.
Gotta bump it, bump it. There you go. Again, bump again. Right there. the end of the crazy creek a little nice broken mining shed and uh, it's starting to snow right now it's rain with a little bit of mixture of snow just not cold enough beautiful day out here we all made it safely well besides two rigs uh, the full one one of the full runner one the pickup they left it behind because they were having some issues but we made it out here a few of us parked down there because it got way too crammed up here so for the most part, everybody did great. No winching, no breaking stuff. Beautiful September. Well, it's been a beautiful day out here at Crazy Creek Pass. The current time is 3.30 p.m. Uh, we cooked some burgers, we cooked some hot dogs. I think I ate two burgers. Everybody had plenty of foods. Uh, whenever, we can, whenever we do these off-road trips, we don't really pack anything too crazy. As far as cooking, just something very simple and easy to throw onto the grill. And even when you're off-roading like this, even a simple burger or a hot dog goes a long way, guys. So we're gonna start heading back. The rest of the guys are still up there. And then, uh, it was really weird. It was raining for a little bit. It was snowing for a little bit. And now the sun is beautiful and sunny. So in Alaska, whenever the weather gets nasty, uh, don't lose faith, don't lose hope. Just give it 15, 30 minutes and it might just change because that's what the uh, Alaska weather likes to do. It's kind of bipolar. Three guys, they went down already um, to go check up on their rigs because I think one of their rigs was having clutch issues. So hopefully we'll see them down there once we go back.
will conclude our off-road trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.